Hello everybody and welcome back to Freeze Coins. Today we got some weak scents to search. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I recently went to the flea market that I go up to sometimes down in Orlando to this guy that sometimes he's got some good stuff. So I asked him if he had some wheat pennies and he said he had 29 rolls of them that someone had just sold to him. So I'm pretty excited about this. He said he didn't search these at all. He had just received them a good few days ago. So I can't wait to go through these. Hopefully we can get some good finds, but you never know with these type of rolls. Some of them look pretty cool. All right, guys. Get right into this first roll and I'll bring you back if there's anything good. All right, guys, just finished that first roll. We got some 40s here, some 50s here. It's pretty much it, except for a few down here. There's a 39 we got here. There's a 28. Not bad. We got a few uh, nicer condition ones down here. But you can still see a bit of luster on them. It's hard to tell on the camera, but they're not bad. And then we also got this one right here. It's hard to see that date, but it's a 1926 Denver. Nothing too special, it's just hard to read. This one with a big slash mark through it is a 1911. And I mean, that does kind of look like a mint mark there, but after looking under the microscope here, it's just the image. Oh well, interesting how there's damage right there by the date. And also, we got a 1918. Alright guys, let's move on to the next rolls. I'll only bring you guys in if there's some cool finds, okay? Alright, be back. Alright guys, I just pulled this roll out. And by those edges, if I turn this light down, that looks good. Wow, I see a lot of luster in those pennies. Alright, let's hope we can get some goodies in here. Alright, so that roll was pretty good with a lot of nice, nice 50s wheats right here, including some really nice ones. Unfortunately, none of them upgraded in my album, but hey, some nice ones for the rolls. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, this next roll is similar to the last one with a lot of nice 50s in there. Pretty sweet. If we can get some more rolls like this, this will be awesome. All right, let's keep going. Right, the next roll is also pretty good. It's more nice 50s, even some older ones. Some 1919s. And even some nice 40s, which is pretty rare to find those. Which some of these might upgrade in my album. I'll bring it back if they do. I think this 49 does for sure. I'm on roll eight. I was dumping them out and then I saw this edge. And I was like, what is that? And then I pulled it down. Look what we got here. A 1902 Indian head scent. And a really nice one at that. And look at all that. You can perfectly see Liberty in there. Wow. Look at all that detail. That's an awesome find. In these wheat penny rolls. Wow. That is so awesome. If we can get some more of those, this will be the most awesome wheat scent hunt ever. And I've already made tons of profit. I'll tell you at the end how much I paid for these rolls. This roll that says some stamp marks home repair. The address, I'm not sure what that is. But this roll is entirely 1937's not making that up an entire roll of 1937 wheat cents. Wow. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, guys, so let me roll those back up, put them in my collection. I actually have a whole roll of 37s in my collection already, so it's interesting. Now I got two full rolls of 37s. Must be a common date. Well, let's keep right, guys. I'm not making this up. Just opened up the second roll, and then uh, look what I see here. 
another Indian had sent. What are the chances? Oh my goodness. Wow. It's another 1902. Interesting. Hey, it's two Indian head scents. It's pretty sweet to find these uh, weak scent rolls. I'm really happy about that. Alright, let's keep it on, guys. Same roll. I got this nice 1918 wheat penny right here. Really nice detail in the back. Does that not look like one of those uh, woody scents? Uh, wood grain. What's it called? Improper alloy something. I don't know the details about it, but there's some kind of thing that happens when they mix the alloys wrong for the metal. It causes them to have that style that kind of look like wood. I don't know if this is it, but it kind of looks like it. Either way, still got some really nice detail on it from being 102 years old. Alright, let's keep going here. Wow. Ooh, that's nice. A nice BU uncirculated 1958. Wow. What are the chances of that being in with all these other random circulated ones? There's some other nice ones in here, too. Ring of death. <laughs> all right, I'll keep searching, and I'll bring you back. All right, guys. I just got something pretty cool. Look what we got here. It's a 1936 with luster on it. Wow, look at that back. What happened to this coin? I have no idea. But wow, that's pretty awesome. Definitely gonna upgrade my album. I don't have any coins in the 30s with any kind of luster, I don't think. So that's really awesome. Cannot wait to add that to my album. Really awesome toning too. All right guys, just finished all those rolls. That was a really fun hunt, even though some of those last rolls weren't as good. There were still lots of finds in the hunt overall. So let's see some of the best finds here. We got two Indian head scents. This one is the nicest one. Look at all that detail on there. Wow. Both of them are 1902s. Really awesome. We, of course, had that really nice 1936 wheat set with the awesome toning on there. Pretty sweet. And we got those ones that had, like, the wood grain woody style. I don't know if they're actual, actually that, but maybe they just look cool anyway. And that's pretty much it. We got only one steel scent, though. This 1916s doesn't really mean anything, but yeah, all right, guys. Oh, yeah, we also had all of these. Look at all these in these rolls, all these like super nice condition. Most of these are all AU, some of them are definitely BU for sure, like that one. Then, other ones, a lot of these are just AU, really nice coins, all with luster. So that was really awesome to find. And a bunch of pre-40s in this big stack right here. So, really fun hunt. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. And actually, this, there will actually be a part two to this video, hopefully, because I just went back to the flea market. And guess what we got? A bunch of more. <laughs> Oh. All right, guys. Stay tuned for part two of the video. It'll be uh, even more epic than this. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. <laughs>